Every winter, two populations of monarch butterflies travel to San Diego. Can you believe that? Well, here with more on monarch butterfly migration and more is Ms. Mallory Lindsay from Ms. Mallory Adventures. Good morning, Ms. Mallory. I did not know that monarch butterflies are, well, they're migrating here to San Diego right now. Right, when we think about migrating wildlife that's calling San Diego their overwintering home, we typically think about species of birds. But the coast of California is lucky enough to be called of one two one of two destination hotspots for the migrating monarch butterfly. Now, for those of us who may not be familiar with this very iconic butterfly's migration, it's this epic multi-generational journey that will span that can span over 3,000 miles. Now, to put that distance in perspective, the distance from coast to coast is around 2,800 miles. So that's further than the width of the United States. And that's pretty impressive for a human to accomplish, let alone this tiny little fragile insect. But many people are more familiar with the Eastern group of monarch butterflies that will migrate from the United States to Mexico in these massive swarms. I'm talking millions of butterflies that will be covering trees from top to bottom. It's just a really incredible sight. Fewer people know about the Western population of monarch butterflies, or Western group of monarch, uh, monarch butterflies. And these are the ones that will migrate in from California's surrounding states into the coastline. Now, unfortunately, this population has dropped about 99% of its historic numbers. So we're not gonna see those super mind boggling swarms of butterflies, but there are a few places that you can still see some pretty impressive clusters. And one of them being the north side of the UCSD campus, uh, the uh, ecological um, park, I think it's called. It's a trail that goes through there. It's a eucalyptus grove. So you can go see them there. Or if you're willing to make a road trip, you can head about four and a half hours north to the Pismo Beach. And that is kind of like the mecca of the Western monarch migration. Wow, very interesting. And obviously um, their population has been declining, but there are a few things that you can do in order to help the monarch butterflies uh, right now, right? Yeah, many people think about habitat restoration, these like huge um, swatches of habitat. Really, these butterflies just need pit stops. So by putting native milkweed, which is what the monarch butterfly caterpillars exclusively feed on, uh, that is super helpful for them. Also, just putting pollinating plants around your landscape, your gardens, in pots in front of your businesses really do help out these insects. Also, reducing your use of pesticides. I know we want to keep out those nasty bug pests, but they do affect our beautiful butterflies as well. I know. It's so strange to think of them, you know, migrating around and fluttering around right now in winter, uh, but there you have it. They are, and so those are a few ways that you can do that. Obviously, you can find uh, more from your social media pages, right? Absolutely. Instagram, Facebook, and on the website, I have a list of native milkweed plants that you can plant in your yard to help out your local monarch populations. Oh, Miss Mallory, thank you so much for joining us today and reminding us about our fun monarch butterflies. All right. Have a great weekend. Well, Oprah.